Nine differences between a firstborn and a secondborn. As it turns out, secondborn children have a much different experience growing up. Secondborn kids, at least compared to the firstborn, seem to be treated more passively. It's not a bad thing. It's just that parents have been through it all before and they know better so they don't panic nearly as much. Not only do the secondborn kids have a different experience, but their parents definitely do as well. For example, one of the major differences between the firstborn and secondborn child is how the mother gets treated. The first time around, she is the queen, but the second, she knows what she can and she can't handle. Friends may have been excited for you the first time you had a child, but when you have your second, ugh, their enthusiasm definitely wanes. So keep watching for the main differences between having a first and second child that all parents will be able to relate to. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Number nine. Food. Parents always take care to do things exactly right the first time. Like eating only healthy foods the second time, they just want to be comfortable and happy, which is also exactly what they want for their kids. The first time around, parents may be paranoid about what they're feeding their children. Because they're new to the whole parenting thing, they tend to take extra precautions to make sure they're feeding their children healthy food that will not put them in danger. And in the same vein as parents worrying about their kids eating, they also worry about their kids getting sick. However, they worry less when they've been through it all before. Once parents have gone through all of the motions, trials, and tribulations of having a first child, they're more prepared and more relaxed and comfortable when it comes to caring for their second child. This means they won't be as strict when it comes to feeding the second child healthy food. Number eight, money gets tight. Having one kid can be expensive, but parents want only the best for their child. However, once the second kid comes along, they might realize money gets really tight. This is why parents who sign their first kids up for all sorts of lessons and activities may not do so for the second time around. Taking kids to different activities to help them learn can get pretty exhausting. So usually, parents just try to teach as they go for all subsequent kids. It can be difficult to manage finances when there are multiple kids involved, and schedules can get busy and really hectic when there's so many things going on. So parents tend to teach their kids certain things themselves. Can you guess the number one difference between a first and second born child that has something to do with expectations? Well, stick around until the end to find out what they are. Number seven, baby books. Baby books can only tell you so much about parenting. By the time parents have their second child, they're looking for inspiration from any source they can find. Most first time parents have probably read a baby book or two in their lifetime, but nothing can actually prepare you for becoming a parent more than experiencing the real thing. That's why when parents have their second child, they ditch all the baby books and use their knowledge and experience to get them through raising a newborn. Number six, always worrying. Parents might have moments of insecurity about raising their first child. They question if everything they're doing is good enough, but they quickly realize that their kids turn out just fine. The same applies to what parents feed their babies. Usually, they realize that babies will be just fine so they lay off the organic stuff in favor of what's handy. It's perfectly natural to worry about what you're doing when you're raising your first child. When the second child comes around, parents are more comfortable and confident. There's always the fear that everything a child does is going to make them sick or put them in danger, at least for the first one. The second kid though is usually a lot less worrisome. Number five. Hand-me-downs. Hand-me-downs are a universal experience for every younger sibling. The first one gets fresh new clothes. The second gets whatever doesn't fit anymore. And as much as younger siblings hate hand-me-downs, they really are a blessing for parents. 
especially if siblings are the same gender. It means that they don't have to spend unnecessary money on clothing. And they can also reuse old baby items like cribs, strollers, baby chairs, and more. If you're a parent, then you probably know how expensive it can be to buy baby products. Having a second child tends to be less stressful for that reason. Not only are parents more prepared, but they also don't have to worry about spending so much money because they already have all the baby products they had from the first go round. That is, if they didn't already throw them all out or give them all away. Number four, television. Some parents endeavor to keep their kid from watching too much television. But once you have two kids, they realize that TV can actually be pretty helpful. Once you start having more than one child, the television can become a blessing that parents use to take for granted. It acts as a perfect distraction and can keep kids quiet and entertained for hours on end. Talk about a free daycare. And as much as parents may say they don't want their kids to be on electronics or watching television all the time, once they have more than one child, they start thinking very, very differently. Number three, accomplishments. Once parents have one kid, they really have seen it all. The accomplishments of a firstborn are never quite the same as the second time around. Of course, accomplishments and achievements are always important, but they can never really compare to the first time parents experience things with their children. Number two, the first day of school. The first day of school is a big event when it comes to both children. The first time, parents are proud of their kid and excited for them. The second time, they're just happy to be free again. Of course, parents are always excited to send their children off to school, but once they start having multiple children, the first day of school comes as a source of excitement and anticipation that they'll have some free time on their hands. Before a kid's school starts, parents have to worry about babysitters, daycare, and other ways to make sure children are taken care of. In the event that any of the parents are stay-at-home parents, having the children at home during the day can turn into its own full-time job. So you can bet it's a huge relief when they get to send their kid to school. And now, here's the number one difference between first and second borns that has to do with expectations from parents. Number one, high expectations. There is a saying that the youngest child of the family tends to be the favorite. But there's no doubting that the oldest child of the family always has high expectations set on them by their parents. Sometimes this treatment can be a little harsh because parents expect the older children to set an example for the other children and act a certain way. But there is some level of respect that all firstborn children can relate to. You can always bet that there will always be a wallet picture of the firstborn child at a specific age. No matter how old the secondborn is or how many others come along, the firstborn child is also constantly photographed and immortalized in countless photo albums. However, the secondborn is usually just stored in the cloud. When parents have their first child, you can bet they'll take a thousand pictures of all sorts to remember every single moment. And while they'll probably still take thousands of pictures of other children that come along, there's just nothing like those cherished moments and photos of your firstborn child that stay with you for your entire life. Those are just some of the differences between having a first child versus having a second. Parenting techniques change drastically when parents know what they do and they don't have to worry about it. The truth is though, that the second borns can have it both harder and easier in life. It's just that the parents are already more knowledgeable from their firstborn, so they know what to do in almost every scenario. Parents may not fret as much over the second born child, but the level of love is still the same. Are you a firstborn or a second born? Are you a parent? What other differences are there between first and second borns that weren't mentioned in this video? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. 
Thanks for watching.